1313 Mockingbird Lane. Let's go check it out. <laughs> what up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch. Uh, every once in a while I like to go, when I'm, when I'm on vacation, I like to go visit some of the, the cool toy stores that I find in the cities or the towns or whatever whenever I go on a vacation or something. And I actually went to Kansas a little while back and in Lawrence, Kansas, there's actually a little toy store that's called 1313 Mockingbird Lane. What's really cool about this toy store is that it was actually featured on the new Netflix show, A Toy Store Near You. I believe it's in the first episode. And it was really neat because I actually got to meet Terry. Liz wasn't there. She's the other owner. Uh, they're married and uh, they part-time run this toy store in Lawrence, Kansas, which is where the University of Kansas is. So what was really neat was I got to meet the guys and I also picked up a couple things while I was there and I wanted to show that stuff to you real quick. So the first thing that I got was, um, so I love uh, GoBots and I actually got this GoBots uh, from there. Um, it was about $6, which is probably a little bit more for a unboxed GoBot, but for me, it was kind of cool to get the, to uh, get this, and I wanted to get a couple keepsakes to uh, uh, remember the the store by. So <laughs> this is what he looks like when he's uh, when he's converted. Uh, this is Fedor from the GoBots cartoon. He was actually in some of the episodes, and um, one of the ones that I don't have unboxed or loose. So I wanted to to go ahead and pick him up. The other one, which I got for six bucks also, um, here, I'll show you the front of the, the bag. This is the kind of bags that they came in. And these were two of the better toys that I saw there as far as the loose figures that he was selling. He has like GI Joes and um, I think some, some smaller Transformers um, and a bunch of other, you know, little knickknack stuff. Um, this is what he looks like. This is uh, Street Heat. He is a... Guardian who was actually captured by the Renegades which uh, Fitor that I showed you a minute ago. He was a re He's a renegade. Oh, let me flip this down uh, And I want to show you all his hands and everything Just so you can see what he looks like in toy form. But anyway that right there is street heat This is what he looks like um, He's actually in the cartoon just like Fitor is so um, if you collect some of these, uh, a lot of them are actually in the cartoon. And so whenever I went there, um, a couple of cool things that I liked about the store was, of course, you know, they had some uh, like little paper memorabilia that you could pick up. And, uh, you know, I think this is a sticker that I got from there. And what's cool about this sticker is that uh, you actually get some teeth. Ah, so... <laughs> I remember Vampire Teeth when I was a kid. Uh, we used to get these and we loved them. I used to tear them up pretty quick. But these are free whenever you go into the store. I think they're actually under the uh, under a little table at the front of the door because with uh, you know the stuff that's going on with COVID right now, they're not really uh, leaving that stuff out so people can just like you know um, put their hands all through it. But these are the first two things that I that I got from there. Um, these two GoBots. Um, I got a couple more things. So G.I. Joe, um, one of my favorite toys growing up. This uh, right here is the Ninja Force G.I. Joe. This is the version 7 of Snake Eyes. And I wanted to get this. It's not in the most perfect shape, but it's in pretty, pretty good condition uh, considering the age. Um, this is, uh, again, like I was saying, version 5. This is... Um, the version of this is actually in the comic book. I think around uh, the 130s, whenever they had some of the uh, the Ninja Force stuff that was going on in the comic books. So this was kind of cool. The colors aren't exact from the comic book, but uh, this is from 1993. And I still thought it was a, a cool find to get. I believe I paid uh, 20... No, no, I'm sorry. Um, I think I paid 15 for this, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember for sure. It does have the uh, the 295 uh, AFES, which is a military, um, like uh, one of those sort of like Walmart for the military. Uh, it 
still has that, which is kind of neat. Uh, let me give you guys a slow close-up of the back so you can see it a little better. And then the front, I wasn't really happy with, uh, in the 90s, I wasn't really happy with the, um, the color of the weapons that they had and the fact that they were on the tree like this. I thought that was kind of cheap that they did that. But in all, this is a, this is a cool find. Uh, this Snake Eyes actually has a dash in between his name and some of these Snake Eyes, um, where it's written, um, he didn't actually have a dash in his name. So that is uh, another thing that I got. The third thing I got, which I'm probably going to end up uh, giving this thing away um, later down the road. I'm not even going to open it. Is This is a Loot Crate. Um, so this is one of the uh, LootCrate.com Loot Crates. This is the best of the 80s. Um, let's see. It has a Back to the Future hoverboard. It has a Golden Girls Cup. There is a drawstring Ghostbusters bag, which is I thought was really cool. Uh, a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stickers. And Big Trouble in Little China and Escape from New York um, comic book. And you can see that on the back. Right here, you can see some of that. So in all, this was a, a really fun thing to go... Um, do i really enjoyed it it was really cool that i got to meet a couple of the guys that were actually on the show but um i hope you guys enjoyed this uh pseudo unboxing of uh, a little adventure that i got to do whenever i was out on vacation so with that i hope you guys have a very good um uh, weekend this is probably going to go out around wednesday but um i will catch you guys on the flip side and remember if it ain't retro it ain't worth watching